Assalamu alaikum. Well, I can see the light is there. <laughs> uh, that was a very inspiring speech uh, we heard. Uh, I'm just a very professional, and I'm not a very professional speaker, so uh, I want to apologize for my uh, poor English. It uh, has never extended uh, the level of uh, high school English, so I try to, uh, to make myself clear. Um, I didn't prepare, uh, uh, well, I, didn't have, I don't have a written speech. Um, I, I would like to speak from my heart, from my own experience. Uh, I just wrote down some keywords uh, to remember uh, what I want to say, and well, that's about it. Um, I'm very honored to be here, and I'm very honored to be uh, a guest of the CDA and to be here in uh, this beautiful country. So. I would like to tell something about myself, very uh, short about my, uh, my family, uh, my parents, uh, my uh, um, uh, political career, if you call it like that. And then I want to talk about some um, solutions or cures of is Islamophobia. Well, I'm not a magician, so I don't have all the answers. And I will tell you what uh, the plans are that I have for the near future. So my name is uh, Arnoud van Doorn. I'm 47 years old. Uh, I come from a uh, original, uh, I'm, I'm Dutch, I'm uh, born uh, in, in the Netherlands and I'm raised in the Netherlands and all my family, they all live in the Netherlands. I'm 40 years old, uh, I come from a Christian background, uh, I was raised as a Christian with all the, 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 the norms and values that uh, come with it and uh, a lot of people say, um, I think it's, it's hard to, to convert from a Christian to Islam. I don't think that's the case, because if you are a Christian, you are, uh, um, you know, you are familiar with the discipline that comes with uh, being religious. Uh, we share uh, only one God, uh, we recognize the prophets, uh, and if you call them Jesus or Isa, you know, the, we all from the same book of, of Abraham. So, uh, for me, the step from a Christian to a Muslim is not that big. I think it's much uh, more complicated if you're an atheist or a non-believer and then you uh, become a Muslim. I think that's, that's really a huge step. So, um, I have four um, foster children. I have no children of myself. The youngest is nine years old. Jamal, he's also a Muslim. He's from uh, Moroccan origin and the oldest is uh, 22 and uh, he already left my house. So. Um, my original profession is uh, I'm, a, I'm a youth and family uh, counselor. I'm used to work in the more difficult areas of the bigger cities in the Netherlands, where there is a lot of poverty and, and, and crime and uh, a lot of problems. And I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm used to work with um, uh, a lot of uh, Islamic families also there in the past. Um, how did I become a member of the, the PVV from Fred Wilders? That's a question that a lot of people are asking me. Um, I'm, I never was an Islamophobe. I was really critical about Islam. I had all the prejudice feelings that a lot of people in the Netherlands and the West have, like uh, uh, Islam is, is violent, it's oppressing women, uh, women. Um, it's, 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 uh, they're all terrorists and, and all these you know, rather dumb ideas about Islam. It's, it's ignorance, but that is not an excuse. It's not an excuse for other people, it's not an excuse for me. But I was already a member of the, the Hague City Council uh, for uh, a local party, so I was familiar with the political structure, with the, the political work. Uh, I, had, I had some media training, uh, not like this. I'm not used to, to speak for a, a big audience like this. This is completely new for me, <laughs> uh, especially when it's in English. But I had some experience and Gert Wilders um, uh, asked me, uh, well, do you want to help me uh, building uh, a party? And that was about a year of five, six years ago, and then he was really small, and he was building up his, uh, his organization. And I thought, well, yes, that might be interesting. And it's, it's something new, it's, on, it's something, you know, uh, it's always uh, something special if you have to, to build a new political party or a new organization. So I said, yes, uh, I, would I would like to do that. So I, become, uh, I became a member of the, of the PVV, and uh, well, I was uh, responsible for, uh, for example, uh, public relations, uh, media, uh, uh, PR uh, in, in the way of how to influence uh, the people, um, how to influence uh, media, and uh, I was also writing speeches for Gert Wilders and um, well, things like that. More on the background. Um, I also um, became, after the elections uh, three years ago, a member of the Hague City Council. 
uh, for the PVV of Geert Wilders and well, so I had to quit my original job. So I was completely into the work of Geert Wilders for 60, 70 hours a week. Um, why Islamophobia? Why did it grow so much and why is it growing so much in, in the Western countries, especially in the Netherlands? Um, I'm not sure about it, but I think there are several reasons. Uh, we have the, the crisis and uh, people are, um, well, we, are, we know that from the, from, the, from the history that it's very easy to, to create scapegoats. And in this uh, case, I think uh, the Muslim community in the Netherlands is, is the scapegoat for the crisis. And they say everything is because of them. We have a lot of crime. It's also because of them. It's because of Islam. Islam is evil and, uh, well, even politicians and media are using these feelings to create, uh, well, they want to create uh, an enemy and they are succeeding in it. And that's really, um, well, that's really a problem. But before we go to there, um, uh, a more important thing is, and a lot, of you, a lot of you want to know, how did I become from a very critical person, uh, very critical about Islam, actually to convert to Islam. Um, I was within the PVV for uh, maybe three years and then I was having some doubts. Uh, people are talking to me, Muslims, and they said, well, you're wrong, you're wrong about Islam, you're wrong about these ideas. Actually, it's a very peaceful religion, it's a very wise religion, and I, and I thought, yeah, right, of course, uh, you, you, you're supposed to say that, but it's not the truth. But still, Something inside of me was like, this is not good. Something is wrong. I'm, 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 I want to know more about this, if it's really that evil. Um, and I started to read not only the things of what I was supposed to read, that's the propaganda from the PVV, but I was reading for myself and I started to read the Quran. I was reading uh, about Sunnah, about Hadith, and I thought, there are so many wise and beautiful things in all this information, so it can't be really that bad. And I was getting more and more curious about Islam. And finally, a colleague of mine uh, in the Hague uh, City Council, uh, he is also a Muslim, he invited me to come to the mosque in the Hague. And I, I thought, oh no, no, I don't want to go to a mosque because it's dangerous and it's so violent and you know, they want to attack me and uh, what a, ridiculous ideas, of course. But he convinced me uh, to come with him and I've been to the mosque and I was really surprised. I thought they, they probably hate me, but they were very friendly. I really felt welcome right away and um, I was invited and we had a long conversation. I think I arrived in the morning about 11 o'clock in the morning, maybe 12, and I've been there until 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. So that was not what I expected. I thought, oh, we have a short conversation and uh, I will see that I'm right about Islam and they're all, uh, you know, evil people and then I leave and I think, okay, I was wrong. But something happened, as I told you before. I don't know exactly what happened, but something inside, it's hard to explain, said to me, this is a very, this is actually a wise religion, this is a beautiful religion, this is very peaceful. And when I was in the mosque, I really had a warm feeling, and I didn't surprise it, and I was a bit confused. And I, later today, in the evening, I went home, and I was really, my head was full of information, and I, a lot of doubts, and I was really confused. I didn't sleep for a night. And then the next morning, I thought, well, I have to go back. And I went back to the mosque, and we had another conversation, and then I was starting to read, and to learn, and to speak with a lot of uh, scholars and other Muslims, and during this process, it would have taken maybe six, seven months, I thought, well, I started out of curiosity, but in the end I thought, it's not only curiosity, it's, this is something beautiful, it's something that fits me. Uh, and that was really something I didn't expect to happen. And, but it did. And after two months, I quit the PVV, party of Gert Wilders and said, uh, this is not my place, I'm not supposed to be here, what I've done was wrong. Um, and I quit. And that was a big step because at that moment I didn't have any job, uh, I had no income, uh, and I went home on my bike, and I sat on the couch at home and I thought, what have I done? I have nothing, I've left my job, there is no way I'm going to get an, another job, uh, because you're too familiar, uh, people know you, and you're uh, 
But I thought, I don't care. I felt strong at that moment. And this inner strength was growing and growing and growing in the months coming. And it felt like a warm blanket, basically. The more I was reading about Islam, the more I was studying Islam, the more I was talking with other Muslims, the more it felt like, this is me. And that ended in um, the Shahada, of course. A very emotional moment in the mosque in The Hague. I was there alone with only the Imam. And I was really emotional. I actually had some tears. And uh, from that moment, well, I was a Muslim. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, well, um, if it's about Islam, I'm, 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 on, I'm not a scholar. I have to learn a lot. I have to read a lot, and I have to study a lot, at least 10, 20 years, maybe longer. Um, well, if you study Islam, you have to study until you die. There's no end. I know that. I'm, 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 I'm not a scholar. I'm not a, uh, um, I don't know that much about Islam. It's, but I know it's good. I know it's, it's, it's wise. I know it's a very peaceful and, and it, it has solutions for everybody and for, for all situ uh, situations, for any person. Uh, there are no exceptions. Um, from that moment, I thought, well, well, I have to do something with this. I'm, 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 not, uh, I'm not alone. There are, in, in the Netherlands, there are almost two million uh, Muslims. We have 17 million uh, people living in the Netherlands. Two, two million of them are Muslims. And uh, there are more and more people converting to Islam. And that's really a, uh, a good thing. Um, so they are losing the war uh, on Islam. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, only this year we have 20% more people that uh, are converting to Islam than in the entire year uh, 2012. And almost all of them are young people. Most of them are be, uh, below the age of 25. And that's why I think we have to reach out to the young people, to the youth, because they are the future. They are the future. A lot of people of my generation and all their, their mind is too polluted with wrong information by media, by politicians. I consider them, maybe without any exceptions, well, there are exceptions, of course, I'm standing here, um, but I consider them uh, a lost generation. And I think we should not put too much effort, uh, effort in, into them to try them to convert, to, to try them to get knowledge about the real Islam. But I think we have to reach out to the youth. Um, a lot of young people are really interested in Islam because they hear so many information and everybody is telling them it's wrong, it's evil. But the funny thing is, because it's, so, it's, it's an issue and uh, young people think, most of them, so was I at that age, um, if all the people tell you what is wrong and right, then you want to know it for yourself and you want to find out for yourself. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And I think... Uh, there are no solutions. There are no solutions to, to fight Islamophobia. But I think if we can reach the youth, then we are, we are gaining, well, we, well, we, we, go to, to, we are going to a right path, I think. And there is a lot of hate against Islam. A lot of people really hate Islam, and it, it, has, it is completely useless to get into a debate with them, to try to convince them. It's, it's, it's just a waste of energy. Um, but the young generation, um, they are curious and we have to be patient, we have to listen to them, we have to listen to their arguments, we have to get into debate with them. Dialogue, that's the most important thing that we have to do as Muslims, because dialogue is the basis of all our civilizations. And young people are, um, they, want to, to, they want this dialogue and they are interested. And, um, of course, a lot of, a lot of Muslims are, are, are angry about what's going on, about Islamophobia. Um, but that's exactly what a lot of people, politicians, want. They want this picture of, you know, angry and, and violent people. And that's exactly what we want. We should not do that. We should not... We should, we should give the right example. They should... The young people, especially young people, should know that we are normal people. We are not violent. We are not oppressing women. We're not supporting terrorism. We're not all criminals. 
And if we, could, if we give the right example and listen to them and being patient and having this dialogue, then they will see, hey, they're all in normal, uh, wise, intelligent people and they will listen. And they will listen and they will be interested in Islam. And they don't all have to convert, it would be nice of course, but at least if they know what Islam is really about, then that will fight Islamophobia. And I think that is something that we all want and that is going to happen. I'm sure of it. Um, despite all the efforts of media and a lot of politicians, they are not winning. Islam is too strong. It's too strong. But we have to be patient. This is not something that will happen within a few weeks or in a few months or within a year. It's going to take five years, ten years, twenty years. It doesn't matter. We have to be patient. Patience, think, I think, is the key word. At this moment, I am also um, trying to establish in the Netherlands uh, a youth organization. Uh, I want to, uh, organ to organize uh, seminars and discussions and uh, a lot of information uh, that is easily uh, reachable for, for young people, for children. Um, from the age from well, the youngest groups that we have, it's, they are about 7, 8 years old, Muslims and non-Muslims, until the age of 20, 22, 25. Uh, most of them are uh, within the age of 12 and 18, and so that's the age that we, that they are really uh, interested in, 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 in new information. And, well, I think, as I told you before, that is the future. And another thing is, I have learned within the PVV of Geert Wilders, I, I learned all these skills, you know, about uh, uh, media, uh, how to influence people, public relations, uh, and they really hate me for this, because now I'm using all this information on the opposite, of course. <laughs> so, I try people. That's one of the reasons that I'm here, of course. So. Uh, <laughs> It's only four days, but it, it, well, I want to come back and I, I travel a lot and I want to spread uh, my story uh, around the world. I'm not a very important person, of course not. It's not about me. I'm just a, a humble instrument in the hands of Allah. But still, uh, I think um, if I can tell my story to people like you, to other people, to non-Muslims, to young people and to other people, I, I hope and I think that we can uh, bring the message about the true Islam. Um, I think there are a lot of people uh, that have questions for me. Um, uh, I know this, the, the, this, 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 this speech that I just held is it's like maybe 15, 20 minutes. It just, I'm sure uh, not all the answers are, um, not all the questions are answered. So if there are any questions, I'm, I'm happy to answer the questions. Uh, only one thing, I don't want to comment on uh, political uh, situations like Egypt and Syria because that's uh, a bit sensitive, I want to keep it only for me as a person and about Islam in general. So please.